Mapping alteration zones using Landsat 9 data in QGIS is a powerful method for mineral exploration, as it allows the identification of hydrothermal alteration minerals through spectral signatures. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to assist you in this process. Step 1. Acquire Landsat 9 data. 1. Go to USGS Earth Explorer or NASA's Earth Data Portals. 2. Search for Landsat 9 data for your area of interest, AOI. Choose a cloud-free scene and make sure it includes shortwave infrared SWIRE, and thermal infrared IR bands for alteration mapping. Step 2. Preprocess Landsat 9 data 1. Layer stacking. Download the Landsat bands and layer stack them in QGIS to create a composite image. Important bands for alteration detection. Band 2, blue, 0.45 to 0.51 millimeters. Band 3, green, 0.53 to 0.59 millimeter. Band 4, red, 0.64, 0 0.67 millimeters. Band 5, NIR, 0.85 to 0.88 megameters. Band 6, SWIR 1, 1.57 to 1.65 megameters. Band 7, 2.11 to 2.29 megamer. 2. Perform radiometric corrections to correct atmospheric interference using the semi automatic classification plugin CP in QGIS. This ensures the reflectance values are accurate. Step 3. Band ratios for alteration zones. Alteration zones like iron oxides, clays, and silicates can be identified through band ratios that highlight specific mineralogical characteristics. Use the raster calculator in QGIS for the following band ratios. Clay minerals, LOH absorption. SWIRE 1, SWIRE 2 equals band 6, band 7. Iron oxides, red blue is band 4, band 2. Ferrous silicates, NIR red, it's band 5, band 4. Step 4. Image classification and interpretation. Use false color composites, FCC, in QGIS to visualize alteration zones. Assign SWIRE 1, NIR, and red bands to RGB for hydrothermal alteration zones. 2. Apply principal component analysis, PCA, to reduce noise and enhance spectral variability related to alteration zones. 3. Use unsupervised classification methods, e.g. k-means or iso-cluster, or supervised classification if you have ground truth data. Step 5. Validate and map ground truth the results by integrating geological maps, field data, and geophysical data to refine the identification of alteration zones. By using these techniques in QGIS, you can effectively map hydrothermal alteration zones, providing insights into potential mineralization zones for exploration. Would you like more details on any specific step or assistance with the technical QGIS processes?